All right, how's it going everybody? Um, I'm finally back. I'm making videos. I'm gonna be consistent with y'all guys now because my weight weightlifting season is officially over now. Um, the season went great. I went undefeated in the Olympic and I came up short on traditional this year. I got second place in traditional by five pounds, but, um, but hey, I got gold medal. Um, I am a state champion in the Olympic title. Um, so feels great. I mean, I worked really, really hard for this. I don't know if you guys remember, but like a year ago from now, I made a YouTube called my revenge arc and I literally called it. Um, I'll probably put a clip in right now. Yeah, but it's the comeback season. Like, bro, we're, I swear I'm going to get first next year. I can already see it, bro. I'm, a, I'm putting my all into this right now. Like this summer, I'm looking forward to, I'm going to be growing so much this summer. I'm looking forward to it so much, bro. Like I took everything aside. Like I, I quit football, I quit all my sports and I'm just doing lifting full time. And I basically called that I was going to win state champion. And I did what I said I was going to do. I don't think you guys understand, like pretty much every single session that I've done has worked toward that that title for me to have. And I can finally say that I've done it. I worked insanely hard for that. Like you, you guys don't understand how much I wanted to win. And I finally did it. Um, in terms of traditional, I definitely feel like I could have won traditional. But I just, I guess I just didn't play it smart enough. So basically, the guy that beat me, props to him, he benched 345, which is crazy at 154. Um, but I had him ahead in clean jerk by 35 pounds. And the most I've seen him do, like, throughout the entire series of, they, they, they have districts and regionals and then state. The most he's done is pretty much this whole season, because I've seen some regular season meets as well. The only weight that he's done is 330. And... That's the most that I've seen him do on like a score sheet. I haven't seen him actually do it, you know, but basically I was about um, 35 pounds and I wanted to be smart and I basically forced him to be hitting 345 to win it. So I only took 305 bench. I'll put a clip of my bench right now. And yeah, you guys can see that it was very, very fast. Like I definitely had at least 310, 315 would have gu guaranteed the lock for win because his second attempt, he went for 355 and he failed it. And if I got 315, he would have had to get 355 for the win. But I mean, there's no telling on like, you know, the, the extra pressure, all the different factors. But the thing is that I can't do a thing about it now. Next year, I'm calling it, I'm gonna win double gold next year in state. I only have one more year left. I'm kind of feeling that like, like, dude, this is like my last year. You know, I'm getting a little sad, but we got to take advantage of this last year, bro. I need to break at least some type of state record. I'm bulking up a weight class, 169. I'm bulking right now from the title of the video. I'm getting bigger, man. I'm getting bigger. Um, I weigh about like 160-ish, 161-ish right now, which is kind of like where I was in my last bulk. Now I reached like 165, 168 for like a couple weeks. So definitely want to get past that. I want to get in the 170 range. And then my peak weight, I want to at least be at least 180 this year for some time. So I'm trying to get big, man. I'm trying to get strong. I'm, I don't know if you guys remember, but like that time in November when I would just hit PRs every single week, bro. Or not every single week, but every single block. It's getting crazy. And I'm also getting back into powerlifting training. So these videos isn't just gonna be me benching every single time. Today we have deadlifts and I'm very excited for deadlifts today. Um, but yeah, man, sorry, a lot of catch to catch on. Um, oh, I'm in a new car. Oh, I got it like a couple weeks ago, but it's a Lexus um, IS 200. I don't know if you guys know about that. Um, I used to have a Dodge Challenger. It was a V6 though, so like <laughs> it wasn't anything special, but um, I, I wrecked it or I didn't wreck it. I ran into somebody that they were at fault They took like a left turn and like crossed a lane. They were not supposed to do that um, But I got a check For like basically how much the car was worth and I got this instead. So But I'm happy with this car. It, it runs nice has a turbo. So I mean, it's not like completely slow, but it's still pretty slow <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I have to add some mods or something to it to make it a little faster, but yeah, but 
I'm happy to be starting to make videos again. I felt so bad because it's been like a month since my last, my last video, which sucks. So, but we're going to get back to it. Um, so, yeah. I don't think I have anything else to catch up you guys up on. So, let's get in there and do some deadlifts. Oh, today's also back day. <laughs> so, I'm crazy. I drank fair, man. I learned that very, very early on as a kid. Um, shit happens. When something shit happens. Cry about it. You can complain about it. You can take it. You go with somebody you don't play. So, um, <clears throat> you know, you look the same thing out there. I'll, I'll uh, from a little boy, you can't help me. You do what we did, basically. And, um, so when something like that happens, you know what that stop your game? The whole thing you train for? At that point, your entire life. Well, you fucking thinking about training? We train it. Well, you laying on your fucking couch, watching sports center, we train it. Well, you fucking in a fight with your fucking fat ass girlfriend, we train it. When you think about winning, we train it and win it. Hey, bro, nobody out works. There are nobody wanted more than you. Come on, man. Nobody. Fight that motherfucker. Fight. 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 Ain't nobody owes you shit, bro. Okay, nobody. If you want something, go out and get it. If you're willing to put the work in and not work everybody around you, you might get what you want. But if you don't put the work in, you ain't gonna get nothing, man. And then don't get pissed off because I made it. I mean, because you're a lazy bum, because I put the work in for 27 years. Alright, guys, so I was about to do my last set of deadlifts, and apparently. And apparently, I have, I have bench too. So. I gotta do bench, I guess. So, and then back. All right. So, just follow up with me. All right, guys. So I finished with that portion of the workout. Still got back to do. Um, for y'all guys, it probably wasn't that long, but for me, that took like, uh, like two and a half hours. Just doing deadlifts and bench, bro. But like, oh shit. bench, I mean deadlifts take a really, really long time, especially because you have to like, sorry, my, my camera's shaking right now, but especially because you have to like warm up a lot and build to a top set. And then I had five sets of three and that's a lot of sets of volume. So that takes a really long time. And I've also, I was also sharing it with my friend Ranieri. We were both elephant together, so you know you have to unload the weights and like you know all that stuff. And same thing with bench as well. So, but I'm excited for back. It's gonna be my first like actual like back day, coming back, bro. Like I'm so excited. The pump will hopefully be immaculate. Um, but I probably won't look as good just because I'm a little bulked right now. You know, I'm a little chubby. I'm a little chubster. But hey, that's how you grow. That's how you get bigger. That's how you get stronger. And I love it because I feel like indestructible when I'm bulking. Like it feels so good. You know, I feel like I can PR every single block, at least last time. So, but um, yeah, guys, I will see y'all when I'm at the gym. My camera is going crazy. Did you gotta be a little, little mental? I think to do what I did. I I, I don't want to like sound crazy, but you have to be a little fucked up fucking mindset of like getting up every day and pushing yourself and you're eating 12 to 16 ounces of meat and, you know 100 to 150 grams of carbs every meal and you're doing that seven times and you do it day in day out you got to have a very simple mindset you know you can't be social you can't be out doing a lot of other activities so you put on the blinders and you have tunnel vision on what that ultimate goal is i was always on track with everything i mean i everything was structured i lived in a fucking box in order to be the best meaning i had no outside people would call me with their problems i hang up on like the phones were, were off don't bother me with negative shit and i just went at it like that's all i cared about like, that was what my life was like it was it was like go full fucking throttle every day that discipline was there i always tell everyone it wasn't about the body it was about the mind at first but I train my ass off. For me, I just love to train. Like that's that's what separated me from like 
most guys. There was times where I almost passed out training. I'm lunging with, you know, 225 on my back in the parking lot. And I remember just like, okay, no one else is doing this, so I'm going to do it. And that was my mindset. That was how I, like, mind fucked everybody else. So I used to train in the middle of the night because no one else was doing it. And so people were like, man, is that the secret? Is that what Jay has to do? Is that what we have to do? And I did it almost to kind of like play mind games with the other guys. Only the crazy people come out this time. It's cardio time. But I was also a beast. I was known as a so-called mass monster. I was also stubborn as hell, right? I, I just, I was told I couldn't do this, I couldn't do that. I was told I wouldn't be a good pro. I was told I'd never turn pro, never win the Olympia, never win it more than once. After I lost it, they said that I'd come back and win it again. So I think a lot of that's a little ego too. I mean, you have to have a little ego to be able to do what I do and be great at it. You gotta do what's your passion, otherwise you're never gonna succeed at it, you're never gonna stay with it, you're never gonna commit to it, and you're never gonna give your full ab ab ability towards that goal. I'll, I'll say this without arrogance. Jake Cutler's the greatest bodybuilder of all time. I never had a lot of self-doubt. You know, people look at his arrogance, and, and I'm just so confident that maybe sometimes I come off as that, but um, I've been knocked out enough times and, and came back from it that I just I just never gave up and I always believed in myself and I mean I was so disciplined man there was no bodybuilder on this fucking planet that was more disciplined than I was at that time I felt like a fucking machine man I everything just clicked like I told you I could do anything I went in the gym and I trained with light weights I trained with heavy weights it didn't matter what I did everything just clicks Ronnie's been here winning the show for the past uh, how many years Ronnie six. six years but this is my town my home my place uh, it takes a lot of time but I'm dedicated and I was just so young and just um, I was so you know naive I really didn't know much about anything I really didn't know how to pose I really didn't know anything but I had the physique I had the structure and once I learned how to eat um, and learned how to, you know, train properly, and you know, I wanted to be, I wanted to be the best. My dad just, you know, my dad was a pusher, man. I hated my dad a lot of times early in my life because he would just make me work and he taught me to be a machine. All right, how's it going, everybody? Um, I did like, like I didn't just talk to y'all, but um, here, that was a really good workout. Um, oh, let me play the focus. But yeah, that was actually a really good workout. Got a great pump. It's great being back. Um, yeah, let me get all the lighting. Even though it's probably illegal to drive with my lights on. Is that illegal? I don't even know. But um, yeah, great pump. Um, deadlifts went pretty good. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything heavy for sure. My first day back, only 418 for today, but um, I'm projected to at least get four reds. On my week four, which, I mean, of course I would like something heavier than that, but if it's going to be at least a 485 and I haven't hit that literally since January 13th, like meet day, bro. So like, it's been a while. So that'll be really good. Just for my first block. The next block, hopefully the bulk will, you know, um, make me stronger and I can PR at least like a 512 or like something over 501 because I've been stuck at that forever and my deadlift has been sucky but I've kind of I moved in my grip on deadlifts it's just on the smooth now and at first I thought like it, it would like mess up with my grip and everything but it really hasn't it hasn't been any no struggles in it it um I used to have like I used to struggle with like my fingers touching on my quads whenever I would especially when I'm bulking because you know I'm bigger and my leverages aren't as good and I don't know it would, it would just be like difficult to get it past my knees kind of on deadlift um but having it closer in I feel like will be will be helpful and I feel like I have a good frame for that like my frame fits in that so but yeah pretty overall I mean it's kind of what I expected for deadlifts I wasn't really trying to go any heavier next week at least low wind like 451 or I think 451 would be a good hold on 
451 would be a good um wait for me. Alright, sorry, I gotta turn. If I turned, then the camera would have flipped over. But yeah, 451 would be good for week two. Um if you guys don't know, like understand powerlifting training every single week. You start from week one and then for me I do week fours. I don't do like six weeks or something, but every week you just go progressively heavier. So um yeah to like kind of peak you for that PR. I like to try to PR every week for, but realistically, it's not always gonna be there. So, and it's better to never fail a lift for powerlifting, at least. So, yeah. If you guys watch my older videos, I used to fail all the time. Like, I probably failed like hundreds of times in my videos, especially on squat, like back in like my garage videos, if y'all are from there. Like if you if you watch those, I used to fail and squat all the time with a like little safety pins. The safety pins have engraved dents on this specific spot that I used to always um, fail. Like it was bad. Um, but yeah, <laughs> enough yap. Um, then back day, first back day back. Oh, first back day back. <laughs> um, it went good. I mean, I got a really good pump. Felt good. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of what I expected. But, oh my gosh, those lap pulldowns, I was feeling so good on, bro. I think I might stop doing barbell rows just to protect my low back. Because I feel it in my low back. I might start... I might do them later on. But for now, I want to protect my low back. I want to be, you know, good on my deadlifts and my cleans and my snatches. And I used to, I use a lot of low back, bro. And like, I feel like my lower back is one of my strong points as well. So I feel like that's why, because I do so many like hinging movements, with Olympic lifting and deadlifts and my low bar squat, like my French low bar squat, lots of hinging in that. But um, yeah, it was a nice Lexus. But <laughs> yeah, uh, overall good workout, really long workout. It's like 9.15 now. 9.19 now, and I started at around 5 o'clock, so, yeah, oh shit, oh, I thought I was getting pulled over, bro, oh my gosh, dude, I don't know if you guys saw that, those lights, but I saw lights, and I thought I was getting pulled over, because my, my freaking, dude, you don't understand, my heart just skipped a beat, bro, Whew, that would have been good content, though, oh my gosh, that would have been good content, though, like, getting pulled over, um, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here, just so, you know, I don't break my camera. But, yeah, appreciate you guys. Love you guys. You use code TIE for 10% off on Ableman. Use code TIE for 20% off on Black Magic. I work up programs. I'm link in the description. Watch out for one-on-one -on -one coaching, bro. It's in the works. It's in the works. And possibly a community. We'll see you guys. We'll see. But, uh, yeah, peace. Love you guys. I'll try to post more. And, uh, yeah.